Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is almost like a review or overview of something that I have acquired over the years that I had from my childhood. If you have yet to see the last video that I posted of the Ninja Turtles Epic Pinball Game, the link for that will be down in the description section. Make sure you check that out, you know, because it's, it's very retro for you guys to see something like that. But let's get into today's video. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and talk about today's fad. Now remember the fads back in the day, the 80s and the 90s? Everybody had a different fad, everybody had a different hobby. Like, I don't know what it was back in the 80s, because I was born in the 80s, I was still an infant, <laughs> an infant. I was still a, a young child, I was, a, you know, I was like four or five years old when the 90s hit. And growing up, in, you know, going to elementary school, everybody had a fad. And some of those fads were, like, when you got to middle school, people were into yo-yos. Remember yo-yos? But that's not what today's topic is about, because I don't have any yo-yos. I had a couple yo-yos back in the day, but that was something I had never mastered. I could never master tricks with yo-yos. I only got maybe one trick in. But I want to talk about pogs. Remember pogs? Those little milk cat uh, covers that, you know, people were collecting back in, I don't know, it may have been, it may have started in the 80s, but in the 90s, they really took off. And then they kind of faded into obscurity. But now people are starting to get back into Pogs. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, who the fuck invented Pogs and where'd they come from? Now, I want to, sh I want to show you uh, this, this collection I got off of eBay. I recently bought some Pogs within the past year. And I got my kids into it. My stepdaughter, she's got a, a collection to look forward to, to going through. And she even got some from her mom and her aunt. So I'm going to show those off to you guys as well. Do you remember having Pogs? Do you still have Pogs laying around somewhere? Let us know down in the comments section. What are your favorite? What do you got? And without any further ado, let's, let's, let's go ahead and check them out. So, yeah, I do got to say, um, it doesn't look like a whole lot of them, but there, I bought like a couple lots back in the, you know, back in the early uh, springtime, a lot of like, I don't know, two, three hundred. And they are fairly cheap. You know, I can get a lot of, of um, 200 or 300 Pogs for like seven, eight dollars on eBay. But um, right here, this is uh, this is my stepdaughter's. I gave her a whole bunch of what I got, and she even has some that she collected from other people. You know, you got your Pokemon, Pokemon Pogs here. But you got a whole bunch of you know, all this randomized eight ball and stuff, and then you got your Slammers and shit. These are mine. You know, I just uh, I went through a whole bunch of them, and I saw a bunch of duplicates. So I gave some of the duplicates to you know like my, my kids. I split them up. My daughter, she has some uh, somewhere in her bedroom. And I even got quite a few slammers. Now, the way Pogs is played, and you can have up to two, four, you know, six people, however many people are playing. And it's basically kind of like the children's version of gambling. You know, children gam used to gamble back in the day when it came to Pogs. So, you know, you would put up however many Pogs and what Pogs you had. You would put them up as currency. And everybody would be chipping in, you know, let's say you want to chip in certain ones, you know, and they all get stacked up. Your pogs get stacked up in the center, and each person takes a turn. Now, there's different variations to playing pogs. There's different game styles, there's different gameplay value and stuff. Um, each player does get what's called a slammer. It's a piece of plastic. Some of them are metal. You know, some of them you can actually, if you chuck it hard enough, it could kill a motherfucker. You know, but the, the name of the game is you got a stack of pogs and usually they're turned upside down and you just take your slammer and you slam it down as hard as you can. It's not going to work because it's on the bed. But usually, you know, when you slam it down and an amount of pogs tilt over, whatever's facing, you know, face up, that person collects those, put them off to the side, stack the rest up until you got a very minimal amount of pogs left. And, of course, the person, you know, usually wins with, you know, whoever has the most pogs wins. That's pretty much how the game is played. And then, of course, I'm looking over here. I got four tubes of pogs. They're all full to the brim. I made sure I put at least one slammer in them, and they got different pogs. I, li I like some of these pogs, though. You know, they're pretty, you know, <laughs> they have some pretty good designs to them. I do like playing them. And these things here, you can actually get the tubes on either Amazon or on eBay. They're pretty cheap. You know, the tubes usually go about, I don't know, $2 to $3. Some of them were for the, uh, the the bigger ones. You know, you've got ones that are a little bit longer. They go for about 4 or $5 on Amazon or eBay. So that's not a bad price for those. 
And now we're going to go through, uh, let's see what my stepdaughter has. Th these are from my fiance and her sister growing up. They have, you know, like a, you know, certain sets of pogs in here. It's like we got some sports stuff. Um, uh, King Leo. It's like just like two pogs each. And they, they even got their own um, containers. You know, they got their own little tube containers for them. So there's a bunch of them in here. Oh, look, this, <laughs> this is my first time coming across this. This is made. This is a wooden one. It looks like a tiny uh, a bark tree. Yeah, this, uh, that's a neat slammer. I like that. It, it's very lightweight. It's not too heavy, but I like the way it's made. That, that is pretty cool. Uh, some of these, you know, they have different designs. Uh, this is a Boink Street Caps. Oh, look, Redskins. Anybody Redskin fan in here? I haven't even gone through a lot of these. I haven't. All right, this one is kind of heavy. What's in here? Oh, my God. Oh, look at these slammers. That's metal. That's a metallic slammer. I might I might cap one of those for one of my tubes. Holy shit. I like that. You know, that the, the blade design. This one, that's another metallic one. That is that is nice. That's like I said, you know, a lot of these different made of different materials. This one um looks like it's 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 not plastic. It's kind of plastic. But I forgot what that material is. That is very nice. I like that. That's very that's very trippy. And then here's a... This is actually plastic here. That is pretty cool. I like that. I didn't even get to go through this entire box and see what was in it. But that is pretty cool. And these are made by different brands too. You know, you got Skycap, Skycap Pogs. This this is very gnarly, and and that's a '90s word right there, gnarly. You know, nobody says gnarly anymore. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna go through a lot of these pogs. I'm not gonna show them all off to you guys, but you guys get the gist of what you know what pogs is as well. And also, finally for today's video, I cannot close off the video with showing off this book that I bought off of e actually Amazon. I remember having this book when I was a child. I picked it up. I forgot where I bought it, but I just recently got it again from Amazon. Pogs, the milk cap guide. You cannot, you cannot have Pogs without having some kind of guide um, in, that, you know, goes into the history of Pogs, shows you the different milk caps um, designs, you know. Like, they got a lot of nice designs. Oh, shit. Remember Tom and Jerry the movie? I didn't ever thought they had uh, Pogs of that design. They got Marvel. There's uh, Spider-Man, uh, Bowling. They show off many different designs. But there's like hundreds upon hundreds of designs for Pogs. You know, sports Pogs. Uh, we did go through some sports Pogs. And of course, this talks about, you know, the story of the milk caps. And then it also talks about, it explains what type of games there are to play with the Pogs. How to play them, how to set them up. So this is like this is a basically a good guide to have when you're collecting uh, for this fad. So if you're into buying these again, if you're into pogs, if you still collect pogs, if you still have them, look on Amazon or eBay for this guide. This is the ultimate guide to have for for your favorite fad. So do you guys still collect pogs? What are your favorite type of pogs? Let us know down in the comments section. This is an amazing fad to get back into. So with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for coming by and watching it. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below for more great content. And we'll catch you.